Once upon a time, two friends named Ben and Jerry had a big dream. They wanted to make the most delicious ice cream in the world. Starting with just a small shop and a big idea, they worked hard every day. They mixed fresh milk, creamy cream, and sweet sugar, adding fun flavors and yummy chunks. People loved it. Their ice cream made everyone smile. Today, Ben & Jerry's is famous everywhere. Their secret? A lot of love, simple ingredients, and a passion for making people happy with every scoop. Ice cream is a treat enjoyed worldwide in countless flavors and styles. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes to see how Ben & Jerry's irresistible ice cream is made. From the farm to your freezer, join us on this fantastic factory tour. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for more fascinating tours and behind the scenes looks at your favorite products. Ice cream has been around since some of the earliest civilizations. The ancient Romans and Greeks mixed ice from snow or hailstones with food flavorings. Though they didn't get to enjoy this treat during warmer weather due to the lack of refrigeration, the recipe has been perfected over time. Fast forward to today, Ben & Jerry's has mastered the art of ice cream making. Ingredients and mixing. Let's start with the basics, the ingredients. They use eggs, sugar, and most importantly, milk. But not just any milk. Ben & Jerry's uses heavy cream and condensed skim milk sourced from their partner dairy farms. The fresh milk is collected and put into big tanks. These tanks keep the milk cold while it's taken to the ice cream factory. Once the milk arrives at the factory, it's poured into huge mixers. Eggs and sugar are then added to the milk. The mixer stirs everything together very fast. This makes the mixture thick and creamy, just like ice cream should be. Ben & Jerry's also adds natural flavorings to their ice cream. These could be things like vanilla, chocolate, or fruit. These natural flavorings are what give each type of ice cream its special taste. So the main ingredients for Ben & Jerry's ice cream are fresh milk, eggs, sugar, and natural flavorings. Simple, but when mixed just right, they make the delicious ice cream we all love. After mixing, the creamy mixture is ready for the next step in the ice cream making process. Pasteurization. A key step in making Ben & Jerry's ice cream, pasteurization. This process keeps the ice cream safe and delicious. First, the mixture of milk, eggs, and sugar is poured into a machine called the pasteurizer. This high-tech machine heats the mixture to a very high temperature, about 82 degrees Celsius. Why is this step crucial? Heating the mixture kills any harmful bacteria or germs that might be in the milk. This makes sure the ice cream is safe to eat. The pasteurizer works quickly and efficiently. It heats the mixture evenly, so every drop is perfectly pasteurized. This is important for keeping the ice cream creamy and smooth. The mixture stays in the pasteurizer for just a few minutes, but that's all it needs. The high temperature does the job quickly, making sure the ice cream is safe without affecting the taste. After pasteurization, the mixture moves to the next step, ready to become the delicious Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Thanks to this technology, Ben & Jerry's can make sure every batch of ice cream is not only tasty, but also safe for consumers. Homogenization and cooling. Once the ingredients are mixed, it's time to make the ice cream smooth and creamy. This is where homogenization comes in. The mixture is pumped into a machine called a homogenizer. This machine uses very high pressure through tiny pipes to break down the fat molecules in the milk. The high pressure makes sure all the fat molecules are evenly spread out. This stops them from clumping together when the ice cream is cooled. After this process, the mixture comes out smooth and even. This is important because it makes sure the ice cream has the perfect texture. Once the mixture is all smooth and creamy, it needs to chill out for a bit. But this isn't your ordinary cooling process. It's super high-tech. So, they send the mixture back to the pasteurizer, but this time, it's not for heating. It's for cooling. And guess what? They've got some fancy technology to make it happen fast. Inside the pasteurizer, there's a special cooling system that works like magic. It chills the mixture down to just the right temperature in no time. Why do they do this? 
Well, cooling the mixture helps it get thicker, getting it ready for the next step. Plus, it locks in all those delicious flavors we added earlier. So, thanks to advanced cooling tech, the ice cream mixture gets colder and creamier by the minute. Flavor Blending Now let's talk about how Ben & Jerry's makes their ice cream taste so deliciously flavorful. It's all about something called flavor blending. First off, after the ice cream mixture gets all thick and creamy, it's pumped into these big metal tanks. Think of them like giant flavor mixers. Now, here's where the magic happens, the flavor vats. Imagine a playground full of yummy flavors like chocolate, strawberry, and mint, just waiting to hop into the ice cream mix. So, the ice cream mix takes a dive into these vats, and that's when the fun starts. Workers add the flavors in just the right amounts, making sure each scoop will be bursting with taste. Then, the mix gets a good stir in the vat, so all the flavors are distributed evenly. Before it goes any further, the mix gets a quick check to make sure everything's just right. Let's say you want your ice cream to have extra fun stuff like cookie dough or fruit pieces. Ben & Jerry's has got you covered, thanks to an awesome machine called the Chunk Feeder. Here's how it works. The ice cream is pumped through the machine while the chunks are loaded into a special hopper on top. The hopper makes sure just the right amount of chunks falls into the ice cream. Once the chunks are in, the ice cream gets a gentle stir to make sure all the chunks are spread out evenly. And just like that, you've got your favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor with all those amazing chunks ready to scoop and enjoy. Freezing. Once the yummy flavors are added to the ice cream mixture, it's time for the chili magic. The flavored mixture takes a frosty trip to the continuous freezers. These freezers are like super coolers, chilling the mixture at cold temperatures. Inside these freezers, ammonia helps freeze the mixture super fast, and to make sure every spoonful is perfectly frozen, air swirls around each gallon of ice cream, making sure it's frozen just right. After chilling for a while, the ice cream becomes as solid as a rock, but don't worry, it's still creamy and delicious. Now this frozen goodness is ready to be scooped into your favorite Ben & Jerry's cup or cone. But before it's off to the packaging station, there's one more cool step to go through. Packaging. Once our creamy concoction is perfectly frozen and flavored, it's time to get it ready for its big debut on store shelves. But how does it go from industrial freezers to yours? Once filled, the cups are sealed tight and each one gets a special stamp, a date that ensures its freshness. This process is smooth, automated and uses advanced technology. The sealed cups take a trip through the cereal hardener, where temperatures drop even lower, ensuring the ice cream is rock solid and ready for the long journey ahead. Once fully hardened, the ice cream cups are boxed up and loaded onto pallets. The ice cream cups are carefully placed onto a conveyor belt, where they begin their journey through the boxing and shipping process. Advanced robotic arms swiftly pick up the ice cream cups and place them into boxes with precision and efficiency. An automated labeling machine prints expiration dates on each box, ensuring that customers receive only the freshest ice cream. The boxes of ice cream zoom along a high-speed conveyor belt, moving towards the shipping area at lightning speed. From the factory to your local store, Ben & Jerry's uses advanced technology to ensure that every scoop of ice cream reaches you in perfect condition, ready to be enjoyed. Competitors Now that we've seen how Ben & Jerry's makes their delicious ice cream, let's talk about their competition. That's right, there are other ice cream brands out there vying for your attention. Some of Ben & Jerry's biggest competitors include brands like Hagen Daz, Baskin Robbins, and Bluebell. These brands offer a wide range of flavors and styles, just like Ben & Jerry's. Hagen Daz, known for its rich and creamy texture, is a favorite among those who prefer a more traditional ice cream experience. Baskin Robbins, with its 31 flavors, offers a flavor for every day of the month. Then there's Bluebell, beloved in the southern United States for its homemade taste and nostalgic flavors. With so many options to choose from, it can be tough to decide which ice cream to indulge in. But whether you're loyal to Ben & Jerry's or enjoy trying new flavors from competitors, one thing's for sure, there's no shortage of delicious ice cream out there. So, what's your favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor? 
Mine is half-baked. Let us know yours in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look, like and subscribe for more fascinating tours. Thanks for watching and see you next time.